Good morning. It's Kim from Brightly Crafted, and I have this um, journal I call Vintage Sewing. And it's um, a hard six by nine. There is a two and a half inch spine that's covered with fabric, and the fabric is sewn on. And uh, an image of some vintage ladies sewing, and then some buttons here. Um, these are paper buttons, they're not real buttons. And I have sewn around the images here too. Inside are 160 pages. Most of them are coffee dyed paper. Um, there's other various sewing themed papers in here as well. Um, there's tabs and uh, that are made for paper and then there's also cloth tabs. And there's some vintage images in here that I've made. These are, this is one I've made into a tag. There's some various um, sewing related things, little tags couple little buttons here. Um, lace on some of the pages. There's a little paper um, measuring device. A little pair of scissors die cut there. Some pages out of an old singer sewing book. Um, that, uh, all the pages have been sewn around. Some of them have got a little bit of ink on them and then there's some uh, stamping on some pages and stenciling on others. A little cluster with a vintage cloth button on there and a tag here for journaling. Some pages, there's quite a few pages out of old work baskets that show different um, styles at the time. Um, I also have coffee dyed uh, dotted paper in here as well. Um, there's a stash place here and this little pamphlet tells you about what colors that you should wear for your hair color. In case, in case you need to know that, that's out of a vintage sewing book. A um, little bit of stenciling here. I think that's the only flowers I've stenciled. So we'll tuck spot here with a little um, card envelope style for some journaling. And more of that work basket. And the sewing papers from the Singer Sewing Guide. Um, in this pocket, there's a plain coffee dyed tag, um, a journaling card with a spool of thread on it, and then I have added a packet of um, this is seam binding. And that's the first signature. Here's another tuck spot, and here's a journal card with a sewing machine on it. And on this tab, I have um, put on a a little uh, sewing machine charm. It's on a bulb pin here. I don't want to lay straight. Oh, there we go. A little sewing machine. It's another tuck spot with uh, different um, cotton spools and thread. Work basket. It's another tuck spot. I have a couple of different journal cards in there sewing related. And this is also a tuck spot. I just didn't put anything in with the vintage ribbon there. Um, here's some handmade paper. Well, here's a little pocket for storage. I don't have anything in this particular pocket, but behind it you can also put things and I have a plain tag there. Um, another pocket with some lace on it and some, a vintage image of um, a dressmaker's dummy there and then a tag and then uh, this little booklet notebook that's um, just got various papers in it and this is a page from a vintage book sewing book for the cover two pockets I have a plain tag and I have another one of the, the little notebooks with the vintage paper in it, or paper for the cover, and a couple of little um, of these spools, thread spools, in the bottom pocket there. Um, a library pocket, and in here there's no buttons on it, but there, <laughs> this is one of the button cards. A little bit of lace on there. There's a flip pocket, and in the flip pocket there is a journal card. It's plain, so you can do whatever you need with that. Lots of spaces for journaling. Um, more of the dotted paper. It's 
stenciling. Um, here's a flip out. Um, you, know, you can't see the whole thing, but it goes three pages deep there for quite a bit of journal spots. And with the little tab here, all you have to do is just pull on the tab, and the whole thing comes out. And let's see, some more of that Singer book pocket with a couple tags, a plain one there, and this one matches the inside cover. And uh, here I have another a journal card from the Singer book showing different ways to measure. Just a uh, couple other small journal cards here. Um, here's another pocket. There's space in there to store stuff and then you can tuck things behind. I have a journal card there. Um, here's a three pocket, four pocket with if you count the behind there. There's just some little bits of ephemera and journal cards in that. With one of the spools and then a plain tag that fits back behind. And then here's another um, side pocket tuck spot with a little journal card there. On this page, I have the um, the thing out of this the a magazine about how to sew successfully, and this tells you need to mentally, physically um, plan for your sewing, and has a, like a paper clip here with some ribbon on it. But inside each of these, these are all flip pockets and there's a little journal card inside there um, for your, to be hidden if you would like. So each of these flip. Um, this is really funny how it tells you to uh, uh, get ready and mentally prepared. Uh, here's lace on the side here and a small charm. Some of the handmade paper. And the last pocket here, I have a plain journal card, um, a patterned journal card, another um, little journal card here, the tags journal card, and then another um, chunk of that. Uh, this is bias tape, the vintage tape. And there you have it. That is my sewing journal. Thanks for watching. Bye.